Live from the WYLN studios in Hazleton with Sonia Shepard. Welcome to WYLN's late edition for Thursday, August 5th. I'm Sonia Shepard. It was a happy ending for 62-year-old John Fetchko who wandered off this morning. John Fetchko of Corrigan House, an assisted living facility not too far from these woods, was found here today crouched down in this position playing in the brush by three good Samaritans from Hazel Township who volunteered to rescue the 62-year-old. St. George parishioner Charles Vescavage, an avid photographer and historian, documented the demolition of his beloved Lithuanian church this past May. Taking over 3,500 pictures, Vescavage is still saddened by the loss of his church. Allegations from 25 years ago, a lot of members were shocked in disbelief because there's, there's a lot of history now now going on. The removal of St. George, right. the um, pending tax appeal that's coming up right. this Thursday in Pottsville, right. Schuylkill County Court. So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of issues going on right now in the church, in the community. Shock and disbelief from parishioners yesterday as they learned the sexual allegations against two local priests and the Allentown's diocese removal of these two local priests who are Monsignor Bernard Flanagan, who oversaw four churches in Shenandoah, and the Reverend Andrew A. Ulinsi, pastor of St. Paul Roman Catholic Church Parish in Reading. Behind me is the white fence that used to case the home of St. George Lithuanian Church, which stood on these grounds for over a hundred years. This church was built by the early coal mine settlers who came to this region to make a living and then to come here during the day and build the church. Today in 2010, the church is no longer existing. It's an empty grass lot and there are questions of a tax exempt that the church is still holding on to. Reporting for WYLN's late edition, I'm Sonia Shepard. And she is a miracle. Her name in the thoroughbred horsing community was in your prayers. And she's definitely a miracle. She was rescued by Amanda Servino from a slaughterhouse in New Jersey. It was arson. That's the ruling from a state police marshal concerning the big tire fire the other night. No suspects yet. Police are investigating. So it's a car show, a parade, or just fire works there's plenty to do this fourth of july weekend if you choose to stay home reporting for wylnn's late edition i'm sonia shepherd